Zoho launched Trident this week. Uh, you know, it's a new app that's kind of uh, designed to be a central communications organizational hub. It's trying to centralize access to email, messaging, phone, video, uh, and also, you know, optimizing task management, calendaring. Um, it's becoming a bit of a trend in the industry to see these apps companies consolidate. Um, you know, I think in many ways, uh, Zoho and Trident is the company's answer to a little bit of what Teams is doing, a little bit of what Salesforce and Slack is doing. Um, and it's the opportunity to kind of really execute across its Zoho One strategy to say, we're going to give you an all-in-one set of tools that can enable uh, you know, a company to handle uh, your UC, your project management, your marketing, kind of pulling it all together and scaling the business. Um, you know, uh, interestingly, you know, Trident, you know, uh, kind of sits on top of the workplace, um, which has been a really big growth engine for Zoho. Uh, yeah, I think they were growing. I think they're saying something around 30 percent right now, Pat, 16 million users, um, you know, and, and again, really designed to be kind of a central work hub. Um, Zoho is going up market. And so, as you and I know, when we first started uh, advising and working alongside Zoho, they were really focused on kind of an SM market. And now what we're seeing is kind of the SM and ME uh, and moving more and more into handling middle size and larger enterprises. Um, you know, and the company uh, really is trying to say, hey, we can be the one stop set of solutions, whether that's you need a Slack like solution, whether you need a project like solution, whether you need a meet like solution. And, you know, they're really uh, pushing that along. Um, you know, they're offering a bunch of new and advanced productivity tools. They've got Zoho webinar now. They've got their voice platform now. They got Click, which is their, um, you know, their answer to, you know, what you call Teams or Slack. You've got, you know, we've been using Meeting for a while, uh, Pat, but, you know, uh, to me, it's it's the continued evolution of what I would say a really reasonably priced uh, full suite of solutions for enterprises that are looking to really centralize everything uh, from you know finance to ERP to collaboration to applications. Um, and by the way, Pat, pricing is probably worth noting. I mean, their most expensive professional plan on this whole workplace is six dollars a user, <laughs> and that uh, gives the entire suite of products with 100 gigs of mail uh and similar drive space uh and you can go down to you know as little as a buck a month if you're looking at the mail only tier um it's in public beta right now pat it's a uh, you know a pretty uh you know so something that people can start to use but uh you know my kind of take on the whole thing is um it's a it's a consolidation play it's a centralization play for companies that are looking for you know a single solution, reasonably priced to really uh, bring together all of its kind of comms, collab, meeting, as well as the ability to connect easily to CRM project and ERP. Uh, Zoho is a really interesting play. Um, you know, if, if uh, you're looking in that particular mix, and I think what they've built with Zoho Workplace is an interesting competition, especially to that smaller em enterprise company that's looking for either an alternative to, to a uh, Salesforce or Teams uh, type of integration at scale. And so good announcement. Zoho continues to plot along great growth. Um, and that's because I think it's really reasonable and a very complete solution. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, Dan. I, I look at, uh, I look at, I agree with many of the things that you said. I, I care, I will characterize something different though, in that uh, Zoho was at the lead uh, in terms of unified suite. Uh, they were there before Microsoft. They were there before Google. They were definitely there before Salesforce, who, who was just starting to create uh, a, a full stack. So technically, I would say that everybody's following Zoho. Now, in terms of market share and notoriety, uh, absolutely uh, not. And, and the funny thing about Trident, and you can hit both uh, our articles on Forbes, is that um, you can imagine how easy this was for Zoho, right? Because they have a full stack, not only of the software, but also in their in their core infrastructure. And essentially what they did is they integrated, and again, uh, it, it, people always think that software is easy, uh, but I guess what I'm saying is, is that they integrated products that were based on the same core architecture on the same core infrastructure. So their ability to do this 
uh, is a heck of a lot easier than, let's say, a sales force that might have four or five different t- kinds of code that it has to uh, integrate. And even even um, uh, Oracle went through about six or seven years of integration, and then they put the Redwood UI on top, kind of as a as a nice cherry on top. But these things take time. So uh, I think then it gets into the integrations that that they did uh, for Trident, and I think they make sense, right? Uh, communication, right? Chat, video, email in one place uh, if uh, if you want it, I think is the one that, that I could see being used uh, probably uh, most of all. And, and then the other part I think that is nice is that you don't have to use every single um, every single one of Zoho's modules. They do have integration of Zoom, Slack, Dropbox, Box, even Google Workspace. So it's kind of like you have your cake and eat it too. If you don't like one of the modules that come in Trident and you want to use something else on Workplace, you can use um, you know what you might consider uh, best of breed. I, I do think it's it's a super interesting time for the company also, and I had a great conversation uh, with their CEO, d- did a video with him a couple weeks back, and talking about how uh, SaaS multiples have gone down uh, so much, and Zoho is a bootstrapped company, and therefore their their ability to invest hasn't changed at all. And with the economic downturn, people are looking for... Um, uh, packages that are fully integrated uh, that, that let's say, you know, again, I'm not, I'm not denigrating anything in Zoho, but let's say it brings 90% of the features to the table for half the price. That is a really freaking good uh, value proposition. And everybody's looking at consolidation plays during this time, um, including uh, Microsoft, Google. I haven't seen anything from, uh, uh, from Salesforce yet, but again, uh, congratulations to Zoho on the announcement. Yeah, it was a good one, Pat. And it was a good point about two two things, calling it out early, uh, that they've been in the lead in terms of building a unified workspace. I think these advancements are taking it to a much uh, more user-friendly. And the other thing that you called out, I think that's, that's really worth um, double-clicking on, is that people can continue to use preferred apps. Uh, while integrating here, meaning you don't have to give up Zoom or other tools that you actually enjoy in order to get the benefit of that unified workspace. 